edge of the darkness. Last place the light touches. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Architects 3D Printing. Today I'm gonna show you something that I printed in 3D and I think it looks so cool. And it's this ghost from the Destiny video game. We downloaded the 3D model from Thinkiverse by the name of Destiny Ghost Fast Print Snapfit and the author is Lene0815. I will leave you the links in the description in case you wanna download it and print it for yourself. Don't do that. We decided to print it in PLA using different colors since the model is divided in different parts and for that we used red, white, grey and fluorescent yellow for the logo. This model has an option to put an LED in the interior but we are not going to since this fluorescent yellow PLA will kinda glow in the middle. Ok, so after some hours of printing I'm gonna show you the pieces that came out of the printer. First, we have this fluorescent yellow part that I was talking about. The two halves of the external shell, which we printed in white PLA, as well as the logo in the nice support that was included in the model. In red PLA, we printed the support itself and also the colored extremes of the star. And finally, using gray PLA, we printed the sphere of the nucleus with the two separators. The four clips necessary for the snap fit as well as the main logo that will cover the fluorescent yellow piece. As you can see, I used brims to print all the pieces and I have not removed them yet. So what's what I'm gonna do now, real quick, using a cutter. Once all the pieces are clean, we will put them in place and we will start with the assembly. We will stick the pieces with each other using a bit of super glue. Notice that I had to model again the four square pins that attached all the parts together in the middle. Since they were designed with a tolerance of 0.06, something crazy, and I remodeled them with a tolerance of 0.3mm fitting my 3D printer quality and now printing them in lighter range. To start, we're gonna assemble everything together without using super glue to check if all the pieces are fitting in place. So we will take both halves of the sphere and we will hold them together while we insert the separators from both sides as you can see here. Then we will take half of the white star and we will insert the square pins in the holes meant for it. And after that, we will take the grey parts we assembled before and we are going to insert the square pins through the holes in the separators, finally closing it with the other half of the white star. As you can see, everything fits perfectly, so we are going to assemble everything again, but this time using super glue. Once we have the body assembled, we are going to install the final details. So we will start with the red corners and we are gonna stick them in place using super glue. Remember to only put a small drop each time and wait 10 seconds applying some pressure so it will stick. After a couple minutes, here we have the body assembled. It looks pretty good, isn't it? Now we are going to glue the logo on the stand and we will do the same than before using some super glue getting these amazing results. Finally, we are going to install the main logo in the eye of the device. The model includes two different sizes to choose from, but we are going to install both of them in the top of each other, because you know, why not? <laughs> we are gonna glue first the fluorescent yellow to the ring in the grey semisphere. and then we will stick the logo cutouts in the top of that. Alright, so these are the final pieces for the assembly and this is the final result. 
It looks quite good, isn't it? Finally, I want to say thanks to Haider Javad for being our first Patreon supporter. If you also want to support the channel, you can do it visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash architects3dp or you can also click in the link in the description. Alright, so that was everything for this video. I hope you liked it and please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram or Twitter at architects3dp to stay tuned with our future projects. See you in the next video.